I'll show you how to uh, create a name credential um, in Salesforce. You go to setup and quick find box. You type name credential. You go here. Um, new. Um, I want to go to legacy. This is a new feature they came up with. Um, so we go to new legacy here. Label is bank. API name will be the same. I have a rest you are, uh, the URL on Heroku for Salesforce for testing. So I leave the certification, no anonymous, no authentication. Save. So I created a name credential for an API. Now I'm going to create a um, registration for web service. You mean, I mean external uh, services. In the quick find box, type external services. Click new API specifications here. Bank service name. So it's a bank service. Um, so this is the relative URL. Uh, I'm going to select relative to the um, URL we added in the uh, previous name credential here. Select the name credential is bank. S schema validated successfully. So it is used as a swagger uh, it's a tool, Salesforce built-in tool to validate it. And then it creates the schema. Schema is the mapping of the attributes of the re, um, an exception and um, security and the path uh, parameter values. And then um, the protocol, it is a JSON. You can see responses and then you have, it has all the definitions. Um, if you work on uh, core by a long time ago, it is the, um, you value, uh, you create a schema so that this is the schema. So it knows how to map the values from the return uh, REST APIs. So if you go down, you, you see everything here. has error message as well here. I click and save and next. So you can see it has add account, delete account. There are four uh, endpoints here. There are operations, you know, you can add account, delete account, Get account update, you have to select everything. Select next here. So now these actions are now available. In flow, we are going to create a flow to call the bank service. So, so if there are all the operations are at your disposal, so you can see input and parameters, delete accounts. You can see account, you pass a uh, account name, it deletes and there are uh, the return codes. This is a get account, you pass the 
account and in these are response code and the account details you can see it created an apex class bank account service so it, it did everything for you um, 